Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 80 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. I've got a beautiful moonrise going on and a sunset. <laughs> um, yeah. And you can see all the lit up areas showing up over there. Oh, that's great. I love seeing that. Um, today we're going to be doing some stuff <laughs> so let's hop on into it oh yeah check it out i guess we should sleep <laughs> yum Okay, so what I've been working on is um, yesterday I did go ahead and build another reactor and I got the lava all four down. I did have uh, one issue that I didn't think of was that I don't know how to get a lava now. I need to, I guess, get my. Ender chest, an ender tank. This guy, it should be full of lava now. So maybe I could just set him like right here. Yeah, see, he's got lava, so I can just come and scoop up some lava when it's necessary. Um, I guess what I could do is suck it out of there and just store a whole bunch of it, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but what I've been working on is <laughs> relocating all of this stuff into its own compact machine and trying to automate this. Uh, but, oh man, did I lose my upgrades? See, I've already got the network transmitter and such set up, and I'm trying to automate this guy. Uh, oh, I need to. Oh, it's already going in, but it's going into the wrong place. So now I want this to get pushed out this way. and a dude and just get rid of that guy dude there we go uh now this should be automatically feeding into system but what i want to happen is i would like to get some upgrades to speed this up because when you use silicon you use it like in mass amounts uh, to, to start uh, progressing into uh, the re reborn storage, uh, we're going to need lots of stuff to, mm. to make these things. <laughs> uh, it's just going to take lots and lots of iron and silicon and, I mean, look at all these processors that we've got to make. So it's crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I would definitely like to, to speed up the process. Uh, so what I was doing was I was going to run and try to get my upgrade recipes, uh, my add-on recipes, automated to that machine so that I can just uh, request it from up here. So let's do uh, add on speed tier two. And this this should just work with um, industrial foregoing with the liquids. Uh, I, when I was doing my ocean block, it really just seamlessly took uh, the liquids into the recipe and I didn't have like 
big old hassle or anything <laughs> just to get it to craft with liquids. Okay, here's the efficiency. I think, uh, yeah, I've already taught it a diamond gear. I've already taught it glass pane. We've got tons of sugar and redstone dust and then the latex. Okay. And then we got processing. And it looks like I know everything except for the furnace. Uh, so we're going to have to teach this a furnace too. And hopefully it's just a regular. Okay. And this one we can just put down here for the furnace. The rest of them have to go into the machine itself. Um, I don't know how this is going to act when we request a recipe. So I don't know if it's going to uh, put multiple items in the same slot. Uh, that could throw a wrench into this whole process if it doubles up uh, an item into a slot because there are a lot of duplicate items. So that would be good. But what I need to do now is I need to get this uh, jumbo tank hooked up so that I can have access to my latex to send it over there. Uh, now another thing is I need slime up here too. Uh, so I may have to set up like an ender tank set up with the pink slime down at the lava farm uh, so that I can have access to here. I have a little tiny bit that was left over. Uh, which is it? I can't, I can't tell. So I guess I need a fluid storage. Is there a fluid storage? I don't think there is. I think you just put like uh, an import, no, an external storage. That's what we need. Storage. Excellent. Trying to figure out what the best way to do this would be. I guess. Oh, there's a in my face. Okay, so now we should be able to see the latex. Uh, but I don't think I can actually see it. See it because I don't have a fluid monitor. So I can't actually see the fluids. Why do I have golden chest plates? Uh, pretty sure I set this stuff up to be destroyed. And the chainmail chest plate. Hmm. I have noticed a lot of uh, inconsistencies working in these dimensional pockets, <laughs> if you would. Uh, I had a hard time setting up my uh, multi-block crafter. It was just not uh, cooperating. I, I think I lost some of my recipes uh, because it was just, just weird. Okay, so this should now see the latex. Hopefully, <laughs> we can't see that because I don't have a fluid monitor just yet. So let's see if we can make an add-on. 
Yes, speed. Let's make one. It says it's missing a millibucket or a bucket, but have access to it. Do I need to? Um, is this jumbo tank sided? Do I have to put it on the top? Maybe. So let's do this. Now, let's try it again. It's still missing it. Maybe I have to have a fluid monitor in order to access it. All right, well, let's go get a fluid monitor then just so we can see okay crafting monitor crafter relay Fluid grid. That's what I need, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> just need a bucket. Uh, I should only need one of these. Wood grid. Okay. Um, I don't think I have it caught a bucket. Okay. Uh, control click to auto craft. That'll probably take it a minute. Did it not make the stuff? There we go. We got a grid. And... Oh, I need to control click. And boom. Okay, let's go hook this guy up. Viewing fluids. Hopefully this will, will work and we can see the latex. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just bust it right here. Yeah. Fluid grid. Um, yeah, it's not seeing... Is there some type of fluid? Oh, that's right. We have to have a fluid disc. I completely forgot about that. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Okay. Let's just look at. Because uh, we just need here's the storage disk, but then you put it into a case. Here we go, a 64k fluid storage disk. Uh, Oh, it's a different part. Okay. Uh, that's fine. 
64K. And a boo. Nice. <laughs> now we got 64K of fluid. Should we see it? No. Oh, 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 oh. I know what I did. I know what I did. Um, what we got to do is for it to see that it's a fluid, we have to tell it on here that it's not an item, it is a fluid type. Well, now it should see it. Let's, let's go check it out. Yeah, it's, I don't normally uh, do the fluids that often. And this is usually one of the reasons why I get into fluids. All right, I still don't see it. I wonder if I have to, since it's an external storage, if I have to tell it what the liquid is. Oh, you know what I did? Huh, I put that on the wrong thing. Yeah, I put it on, uh, on the silicon, actually. <laughs> uh, this is not a fluid, this is an item. It's just importing. This is what I need to tell it that it's a fluid. And look, it's already seeing it now. I'm such a doof. Okay, <laughs> so now let's try to do our add on and see if that helps. Oh, look, it's seeing it. Now let's see how it reacts. Oh, nothing doubled up and it worked like a dream. I love it. Okay, so that was working way better than I thought it was going to actually. You over here, it's going to speed it up. Look how fast it's going. It's also going to chew through our power a lot quicker, but that'll be okay. Add on, processing, check. Oh, I love it. I really do not like working with this machine. Uh, so getting these upgrades, uh, auto crafting is huge to me. <laughs> it's huge. All right, one last one for the efficiency. Yes, I love it. <laughs> we got stuff. Uh, nice. So now I should be able to request machine frames as well because I put the machine frames, uh, the, I mean, I got the Supreme in there, but I don't have access to ether gas yet. Uh, and we can't auto craft these until I get the pink slime hooked up into the network. Uh, so what I need to do is replace my storage device with an ender tank and set that up in here uh, so that I know uh, stuff. I need to be able to get this. Oh, I need to be able to get down here. Oof, oof, um, I might have to do a little rearranging work here. Move this power cable over to here so that I can get access to one of these, um, and have it store some uh, 
acacia in here so I can have stuff coming in. Some latex. <laughs> Even though this is full, it's going to start using it once I once I hook the latex processing unit up. Um, so yeah, this would be great uh, to get uh, all the, the stuff going. So we're going to need um, an exporter, I guess. Oh, another thing, I was playing around with the settings. Um, this is what is two way auto selected. Uh, that way, auto select means that when you open up your grid here and you push Control G, it automatically puts your cursor up here into. The crafting grid search bar so you can just start typing without having to move your mouse over to select it which i think is really handy dandy and the two way means that if you type something uh, and then you exit and you come back in it's still there this is exactly what i want <laughs> this is exactly what i want uh, I, I just love it that it remembers that. Uh, so that is really super. Uh, so let's get a exporter. There we go. And we're going to hook it up to here. Yeah, still don't have a whole terrible lot of this stuff. And I wish there was some way I could uh, get it to only keep one stack in there. I guess I could put a detector, but it only measures what's in the system, not what's in here i guess i could do i could do a node but what would i draw it from um i could do a node to tell it to only put 64 in there but i don't know how to connect the node to our system so no good There we go. <laughs> we had stuff coming in. Now all of that should just get turned into latex. Okay, I might have to set this up again since I moved it to output. So we want to push out to the right. There we go. And now uh, let's see, can I, can I adjust this? I don't know how I was, and why did it stop? See, this is what, these drawers are only taking like 64, even though they can hold 2K. I don't understand that. Um, actually, I wonder, do I even need that chest? Can I put my crafter right next to it? And just have it push into there. Oh, I can bonus and now I just need uh, I need an X an importer here I guess I could take two from there we go let's get an importer to import that into the system 
Okay, this is working out swell. Uh, <laughs> it does not look like much. Uh, there we go. Now that should be going into the system. Uh, there we go. Slowly, slowly going into the system. Yeah, it's got it's got all the acacia in there, which isn't a whole lot. Okay, even there. I guess I should take this stuff out as well. Even there. And um, now I need to tell it uh, to process this stuff. Um, what I think I will do is just hook this into the smelting system for the other resources. So let's get out of here and finish this process up. There we go. All right. Uh, what I want to do is just have it automatically export. That's an importer. Uh, and this one, I want to put the plastic over here. I want to tell it to get the dry, is it the dry rubber? Yes, put the dry rubber. Can I, uh, can I boop you? Yes, I can. So now this should start sorting the dry rubber too. Hopefully I can still do the other stuff as well. Don't have anything coming in at the moment. I need to go move the cord. Uh, but I was wanting to set this stuff up so that could get more established in industrial foregoing and this is a huge huge step automating uh getting all that stuff set up i do have a storage drawer for the silicon now put that in there so we can hold two million silicon no need to worry about that for a while um i guess i could put Oh, I could put a external storage on here to see the lava. That way, if I have something that requires lava, just boom. Okay, so we need to tell it that this is a fluid. Yes. Go. Um, now let's go make sure that we can see it up here in our fluid storage. Ah, oh, yes, <laughs> you can see the stuff. Uh, one last thing that I want to do is to get another ender tank. These are chests. I don't have an ender tank. Here is the ender tank. There is the ender tank. Uh, I need to teach this a bucket so I don't have to worry about it again. So let's see. Where is the ender tank again? Here's the bucket. Boom. And uh, let's get that in there. Now we should be able to get our enter tank going. Nice. <laughs> oh, it didn't do the bucket. Uh, we got a control click that. There we go. Um, we're going to need another one, though. We need two of these guys. Uh, and it's going to have to be different from our lava. 
So let me see, do I have ink? I got a red and I got white. So let's make pink. And that's perfect. Actually, kind of perfect. There we got two. I just want to boop it. Pink for pink slime. Nice. Uh, so let's go down here. Oh, I keep doing this. Um, this is an issue. <laughs> ah! Because they're so. Oh, I can't can't get to it. Can't get to the iron level. <laughs> it skips right over it. So I did add some more of the anchors so that I can boop around a lot easier. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, it's just this isn't accumulating very quickly because I just keep getting all this grass because the bring me grow grass. I wish that there was something other than drig me's. Um, the problem here is that when I put this down, oh, you know what I could use instead of using the tank, I could use the ender tank as storage. I know I'll never fill this jumbo tank up. Uh, so we could just use, I was just worried that this would get liquid meat in it. Uh, so what I might want to do is tell the liquid meat to sort of stop, stop. Stop putting that out until I get some uh, pink slime in there. Oh, dude, I forgot about this. So that's going to have to go to the top, I guess. So we'll put it down here. Get my fluid pipe. There we go. And it's already got pink slime in it. It's got a little tiny bit. So now we can turn our uh, back on. So, dude, uh, I wonder if I put the meat upgrades and the per processing stuff, if this changes the output of this machine be kind of cool uh, if I could increase that. Okay, so what I want to do here is go back, set up my other pink slime tank. This will be easy. Uh, see, I don't have to climb the ladders anymore. It's great. Uh, so them to put fluid hmm yes uh, I wonder uh, hopefully it can can come to the bottom um uh, that didn't it's very well do this. Ha! Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I could get. Okay, let's do uh, external storage. Uh, oop. Um, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Um, there. <laughs> it did not want to give me. Okay, so fluids. Oh, and it's already seeing it. Oh, um, 
Now we don't have that much. Oh, look at that. But we can also empty out this tank. Um, I think I can do this here. Just tell this that this is to do fluids. Sweet, it trained it right out. No problem. And a doof. Nice. <laughs> so let's go check our fluid level now. Yes. We have 12 buckets of pink slime. This is great. This is great. Um, I also want to teach it um, the pink slime recipe, the pink slime ball. I may need to do that, but it's also done in machine. So uh, let's do this. I do the doot. See, this will be much better because I have a, like a little tiny bit. Um, I don't know why this needs this. That doesn't make sense uh, because it definitely gets used up. Uh, I can't take it off. How do you do that? Is it shift left click? Yes. There we go. Now, can I, from the crafting manager, put this into another dimension? Let's see, I can't. Ah, oh, there's the dissolution chamber. I can't. <laughs> Look at that. I put it in another dimension. So now if I need a pink slime ball, it will automatically make it. Wow, which is super cool and awesome. So we got it all automated. Oh, this will be so much easier now to get into our ore laser base and get some mining drills going. Because uh, I would definitely like to have a steady income of resources that I don't have to go and uh, swap out, you know, the <laughs> the quarry for. Uh, because this this is uh, so fast, it, it I would literally be doing this all day. I would just be running into the mining dimension and relocating all the time so sweet um but yes we got our uh, dissolution chamber fully automated now it's great <laughs> i love this so maybe next episode we can start getting into the ore laser base um and getting that set up uh so uh, what i'll probably do is set up another compact machine and start trying to get the ore laser base set up and I'll need another compact machine for the ether gas uh, if I'm ever going to automate the wither <laughs> which would be nice uh because I, I could use some nether stars. Uh, there are lots of things I could use nether stars for. Uh, but I'm just too lazy to go down and, and killing myself. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. We had a very productive episode. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.